Hey guys, I'm Coach Ty with Muscle Wiki, and we're working on the dip today. So we've got bench dips, also parallel bar dips, and we're gonna walk you through progressing if you're unable to do parallel bar dips, how to get there. Also, once you are here, how to regress the movement a little bit so you can build up to adding some weight to them. What do the dips, what does the dip? Train. Primarily your pecs and anterior deltoids and then your triceps as well. The more forward you lean on a dip, the more pec you're gonna get, the more pec activation you're gonna get. The further back you lean, the longer the range of motion will end up at your elbow and therefore you'll get a little bit more tricep. I do wanna give a warning on this exercise. Uh, the human body is not very good operating behind you. So anytime your arms go behind you, say you're doing a behind the neck pull down, a behind the neck military press, or in this case, a dip, the shoulder joint is in a very tough position. There's literally less space in your shoulder joint when your arms travel behind the body. So if you get any shoulder pain or if you have any shoulder issues, I would suggest you just stay away from this one. Go with more standard pec and tricep moves like bench pressing, push-ups, uh, pec flies, so on and so forth. All right, our form on the parallel bar dip. So I like to do a small box that I can step off of instead of jumping up onto the parallel bars. But if you're at a standard gym, like a 24 LA anytime, so on and so forth, there will generally be uh, that big machine, either just a standalone parallel bar dips with the steps for you to get up onto, or the assisted chin-up machine, which will have the same thing. If you don't have that and you're in more kind of like an open box gym, again, I suggest you grab a step that you can step off of. So we wanna start here in this position. I like to point my toes forward slightly because it kind of gives me a bit of a uh, counterbalance so I don't get too pitched forward or too pitched backward. And then from there, you're aiming to get your upper arm to parallel with the ground and then pressing back up towards the ceiling. Going any further than that, you might get a little bit longer range of motion at your shoulder joint and therefore the pecs and also at the elbow joint and therefore the triceps, but again, uh, it's a cost benefit analysis. Are we getting much more benefit for the added risk of injuring our shoulders, which is the most easy to injure joint in your body? So again, start from here, point the toes, parallel, and then you're pressing back up toward the ceiling. Boom. Here is how to get a dip belt on to perform weighted dips. So I personally like to loop the chain through both of the uh, clasps at the top. Just makes it a little more secure. Some people don't do the extra run through of the chain through those two top clasps. They'll just let it hang freely. Either way, it's fine. And then from there, again, gently step off of your box and go from there. Gentle step back to the box, down, down, let your weight rest, and you're done. Okay, so next, we're gonna do a step-by-step -step progression. For the folks who cannot do parallel bar dips, this is a good place to start. Bench dips with the knees bent. Full flexion, full extension. Then your next progression will be legs extended. Once you feel comfortable there, then we'll try a single leg. And again, we're slowly but surely getting more and more of the resistance put onto your upper body as we go. Next up are legs fully extended and a plate, weight plate in your lap. And you can add weight to this over time like anything else. And then finally, a banded parallel bar dip. Just loop the band over the two parallel bars and you can do either your legs or your feet in the bands progress to the lightest band possible and then give parallel bar dips another try with no assistance all right moving on to our do nots we only have a couple of them number one is short range of motion not going all the way down then there's the inverse problem of not fully extending the elbows at the top 
So again, aim to get your upper arm to parallel with the ground and then fully extend those elbows at the top. And then this one, I'm not sure if I was adequately able to convey what I was trying to show you here, which is kicking or using a kip <laughs> to get myself back up, but that's a big no-no. Make sure you keep it strict. All right, folks, that's it for the dips. Thank you guys for listening as always. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you want to hear from us next, and we'll see you with the next one. Deuces. <laughs> it's getting worse. Yeah.